Hello everybody, welcome to class. <clears throat> My name is Teacher Chad, and this hour we are going to be focusing on our reading and pronunciation as we read through uh, another short story. This short story is called Ricky Did It. Okay, the, uh, the link to the story is right here. Okay, I'll go ahead and put it in the Verbling chat for you, as well as in the Google chat. All right, so you have it, uh, you have it ready for you. All right, very cool, wonderful. Well, uh, let's uh, let's see who we have in class so far. Uh, Amparo, how are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing good. Give me one second. It looks like my uh, computer decided to select the wrong microphone. That's why it sounds so spacey. There we go. Awesome. I'm doing great. How's your How's your day been so far, Amparo? Pretty good. Awesome. Well, good to, good to have you back in class. Thank you. All right. Igor, how are you? Hi. I'm doing well, very well. How about you? I'm doing great, Igor. Good to see you again. Good to see you, too. Thank you. All right. Sarah Sarita, how are you? Hi, teacher. Fine. Thank you. What about you? I'm doing great. Looks like you changed your picture. Is this a character from another movie? Yeah. All right. Very good. Welcome welcome back. Good to see you again. Thank you. All right. And uh, Selma, how are you? Uh, hello, teacher. Selma, can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Oh, there you are. Hi. Uh, okay, good. Well, good, I'm good. Now, uh, excellent. Excellent. That's great to hear, mm -hmm. Selma. Now, are those uh, are those tattoos on your arm? No, no, they are not tattoos. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, <laughs> they are made of hino. Ah, okay. So they're yeah. it's temporary. Temporary. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Great. Well, good good to have you in class. Mm, thank you, teacher. All right. How about uh, action? How are you? Hello, action. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Hi, Chad. Hi, everyone. I'm fine. Hey there. I'm doing good. Nice to see you again, man. Uh, nice to see you, so too. thank All you. All right. How about uh, uh, Gwen, Gwen uh, Nugent? Yes, fine. I'm call me by time. Great. Really, uh, yes. Is that how I pronounce your name? Is it Nugent? No, Nguyen Thanh. Nguyen. Nguyen Thanh. It's my last. Yes, it's my last name and Thanh. Ah. Yes. Your first. Your first name is Thanh. Okay, so Thanh. Ah, Great. All right, good to have you in class. Nice to see you. Yeah, I think I think um, I, I saw some class um, of you before, but I don't know if you remember me or not. Uh, yes, I do. I do uh, remember remember your name, but I think in that class I was calling you probably Nujen instead of Tan. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. yes, now, now I know your first name is Tan. Okay. Okay. Very good. Welcome, welcome to class. Uh, and uh, C, how are you? Hello, Chad. Hi, Thanks welcome so back. Thank you. Thanks for us. Great. And uh, C, um, every time you come into class, you have a different dress that uh, that's <laughs> there. Are Are you a uh, designer, or do you like uh, are you do you like uh, clothes? Uh, I like clothes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Excellent. Well, good to see you again. Uh, nice to have you, you here. Thank you. All right, everybody. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. The, this is going to be a reading and pronunciation class with a story called Ricky Did It. I put the uh, links up in the chat box. Go ahead and open those up. Uh, when you do, uh, let me get mine ready for you as well. When you do, this is what you'll see. And let's start over on the uh, left-hand side with action. Okay, action. Uh, let me have uh, you read yes, this uh, uh, this first paragraph here, please. Okay. Uh, Keith and Ricky had a plan. They were both 10 years old and had to think about snakes. They looked at pictures in books. They carved garden snakes by the skull on every warm day. And sometimes they would even bring them to class for show, for show and tell. Miss Spring always praised them 
for their fine uh, specimens that accompanied their reports. They had been friends since the second grade and Kate had shown Ricky how, how to fish in the creeks and rivers close to his house in Yachat, Oregon. It seemed, it seemed to Ricky that a, a trout or a salmon would walk across the water on its tail to get on Kate's hook as he would always catch his limit. Ricky would use the same bait and fish in the same place and never catch as many as Kate. But as as these time snakes were the focus of their life and this and in this their tail seemed equal. Okay, good. Uh, let's check out some words here. Um, this word here is focus. Focus. Yeah, focus with an uh instead of an is sound, it's an uh sound. Focus. Focus. There you go. Okay. Now this is a this is a name. It's a name of a uh, of a boy. Okay. That e that e i in the middle there makes a long e sound. The word is Keith. Keith. Yeah, you were saying Keith. It's key. Keith. Okay. One more time. Keith. Keith. Great. Okay. Um, let's practice this uh, this uh, phrase right here. Okay. As he would always catch his limit. Okay. Focusing on would. Would always. Okay. As he would always catch his limit. Try that. As he would always catch his catch his limit. Good. Much better with the word would. Okay. Nice okay. job. Um, now this this is a fish. Okay. The the L is silent. Okay. The word is salmon. Okay. Salmon. Good. One more time. Salmon. Sa salmon. Excellent. Okay. And okay. let's practice um, their reports. So uh, two R's right together. Uh, so um, so from here we're going to say their fine specimens that accompanied their reports. Their fine specimens that accompanied their reports. Good. Much better with your R's. Here with the, with the uh, R at the end. And then at the beginning, you sort of rolled it. That time was much better. Okay? Good job, okay. action. Very good job. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Uh, let's go okay. to uh, Amparo. <laughs> Let me have you uh, read this, uh, this, these next two paragraphs here, please. Okay. We can live four miles north of Keith's house on Highway 101, in between Big Creek and Tilly the Whale, okay. in a mobile home. Tilly the whale was the cayenne skeleton of a whale that had been dragged up to the highway as an advertisement for some old tourist camp that were only lived in for two months every summer. At that time, Ricky thought nothing on of walking the four miles into the little town and spending the night at his friend's house. His grandfather owned the combination hardware store and gas station in Yekat, right next to Below's restaurant. So it's if Keith wasn't home, he could always spend the night at his grandpa's house. Actually, Wiki did pretty much anything Keith did most of the time. Keith was the kind of boy that made friends quickly and Ricky was the kind of boy who tried to make his friend happy. As they grew, they both acquired different interests and hobbies, but they, they always had time to strike out on a new adventure in the woods, in the rivers, in creeks, or among the rocks and at low tide exploring. Okay, good. Uh, let's practice some words here. Um, now, this is going to instead of uh, this is going to be instead of uh, uh, an oo sound like low. We're going to say low. Low. Okay, with just an o sound. Okay, so uh, the rocks at low tide exploring. Try that. The rocks at low tide exploring. Good. Good. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's practice the word woods. So instead of woo, it's wo woods. Woods. There you go. One more time. Woods. Woods. Great. Okay. Um, now let's practice the S endings on both interests and hobbies. So uh, both acquired different interests and hobbies. Try that. Both acquired different interests and hobbies. Okay. Get that S at the end of interest. So interests. <clears throat> okay. Both acquired different interests and hobbies. 
There you go. Good. Nice with that S there at the end. Okay. That's difficult because we have the STS. All right. That's yeah. always a tricky one. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Um, let's let's try for uh, where was that at? Okay, Ricky's. Okay. Uh, again, here with the S at the end. So Ricky's grandfather. Try that. Ricky's grandfather. Ricky's grandfather. Good. One more time. Ricky's grandfather. Ricky's grandfather. Uh huh. And one more word. The word is dragged. Drag. Okay. Get that D at the end. Drag. Dragged. There you go. That's it. Okay. So let's throw that into the sentence. Uh, that had been dragged up up to the highway. That had been dragged up to the highway. That had been dragged up to the highway. Now, uh, just a, 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 a bit of information. Uh, whenever you have a street, okay, a street or a house, a uh, house number or something like that, uh, we rarely call out the full number. Like, uh, for example, we would not say Highway 101. We would, we would say Highway 101. Okay. And, uh, and uh, that zero we would say as an O. Oh. So Highway 101. <laughs> Highway 101. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. But if you do say Highway 101, we would understand you. It's just uh, it's just a little off. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Um, okay. Let's go to my uh, my next reader. This is Igor. Yeah. All right, Igor. Let me have you read uh, the next uh, paragraph and line and about half of this next one here. Go ahead, please. Okay. Um. One warm sunny day, uh, someone is typing. One, uh, one. Yeah, one. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't see who is typing. Yeah, so, yeah. If you person, are, if you're person, typing, person. if you're uh, typing, just make sure to uh, mute yourself. Okay. One warm sunny day, Keith uh, said, "I got an idea. I always got a, got a uh, feed these dumb ducks. What would uh, happen if uh, we got like a hundred snakes and dumped them in their pen? I bet that would be bu bully. Cool. Uh, wasn't around yet." Uh, at least not in the small town of Yachas, population uh, 413, where, uh, where it seemed uh, that time stood still in the mid-1960s. The inward was bully for all the kids uh, from third grade to sixth. Things were neato or bully, and we were just sneaking up on boss. Oh, yeah, that's that. That would be bully, yes. Yes, that? that's bully. Yes, that's bully. Yes, it means that's... like uh, cool. If you remember uh, back in uh, in the '60s, or let's see, late '60s, um, if you listen to uh, American music, there was a song called "Bully, Bully, Bully, okay. Bully, Bully, Bully." Okay. That was that. That was a cool word. Ricky, uh, I heard uh, suddenly excited at uh, the idea of stamping, flapping, uh, squawking ducks, unable to get out of their pen covered in chicken wire. So the boys set about their labor. To catch a garden snake takes a certain amount of self-control. Mainly it is about the only time that young boys will ever be totally quiet. That is, uh, when they are sneaking up on something or getting into mi mischief, mischief, or how to it? Mischief. Mischief. The trick uh, is to listen closely as you walk quietly through the tall grass at the side of the road and uh, along, alongside dishes. 
Okay, ah. uh, one, one more sentence, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read from my page uh, and I uh, see it. It doesn't matter how quiet you are. The snake knows, knows you are coming and moves, and the grass makes noise as it moves. Okay, good. Good, good, nice job. Uh, let's uh, let's practice some words together, okay? So uh, going back to this word here, um, we do need to pronounce that ch ch sound, okay? Mischief, mischief, mischief. There you go. One more time, mischief, mischief. Great. Now, uh, don't be confused, class, because yes, if we do remove the miss at the very beginning, that word is chief. Okay, um, but yes, it, this this would be actually. Let's see here. Let me see if my eyes are playing a trick on me. Yeah, that would be chief. Um, but when you have miss at the at the very beginning, um, uh, it, it it changes. It changes to an i sound, mischief. Okay, and that and that means trouble, getting okay. into trouble. Okay. Um, uh, next word here is squawking. 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 Good, good. And this is a, a great example of an A-W where we just pronounce an ah. Okay? The sku, that oo sound comes from the, Q, the U right after the Q. So one more time, squawking ducks. Squawking ducks. Great. Nice job with that D sound. Really good job. Okay? okay. Um, let's go to the word population. Uh, where'd you go, population? Population 400. Yeah. So um, this is population. So add an I right before that U. Pop U. Population. Pa population. That's it. One more time. Population. Population. Great. Okay. Uh, let's, let's practice the uh, the D sound at the end of would. Okay. So what would happen? Would happen. What would happen? Try that. What would happen? Good. One more time. What would happen? What would happen? Good. Okay. Nice. Excellent job, Igor. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, Tan. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. Okay. Let me have you uh, finish off this paragraph. Okay. And read down to, uh, let's see, those are pretty small, uh, down here where it says uh, uh, duck pen. Okay. Which means one means one means. Um, then you jump on its tail with one of your feet. You usually wait to identify your pets until after you have got um, your query great firmly by the nest just behind its head. I know, but some boy don't think that bullets drop um, and the task of getting bit by a um, poisonous snake would never even even cross their minds. After spending most of the days so pleasantly with the boy decided that their cast was big enough. On the way back to Kess house they tried to get a crowd. Man um they keep moving. How many? How many do you think you can hold? You can hold um, at a time. I don't know, fifteen or twenty. I guess if I put some in my shirt, now nah, then um, we'll have to do something where to get them out. I didn't mean why um, I was wearing it on me. Um, I mean that I could make a check, check out of my shirts and call them as I put them in. Oh dear, that's my work. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, that'll be fine. Just till there. Um, let's uh, let's practice uh, some sounds here. Okay. I want to uh, uh, focus really quick on the S H sound. Okay. The word yes. shirt. So okay, so when we pronounce this sound, okay, we pucker our lips a little, okay, like that, and we say, shh, try that, shh, all right, right now you're pronouncing an S sound, saying, shh, yes. okay, 
We, yeah. um, when we pronounce the SH, our teeth aren't closed like an S sound. Because look, when I pronounce a, uh, the SH, my teeth are apart. My teeth, right here, they're apart yeah. just a little bit. Okay? Okay, you see yeah. how they're apart just a little bit further? Okay? And my, my mouth isn't wide, it's closed. Okay? Yeah. This is an S. Okay, an S, a wide mouth. Okay, S H, yeah. it's closer, and my teeth don't close. Shh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so try that. Shh. Okay, very close. One more time. Yeah. Don't close your teeth all the way. Okay, we yeah. say shh. Okay, so let's try the word. Um, We're going to say shirt. So. Okay, give me a shh sound. Shirt. Shirt. Okay, getting closer, getting closer. All right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, focus on that s sh sound a little bit. I'll uh I'll uh, try and remember that the next time you come in to to have that be an area of focus. So uh, let's uh, let's go here to our to our reading, and we're gonna practice. Um, uh, count them, count them as I put them in. Okay, try that. Count yes. them as I put them in. Yes. Count them as I put them in. Okay, give me a T at the end of count. Count them count. as I put yes. them in. Yes. Count them and uh, as I put them in. Good. Much better. Okay. Now let's go to the word boys. Okay, this word right here. Boys. Yes. Try that. Boys. Boys. Excellent. Boys. Okay. All right, now let's practice this uh, this here. But young boys all think they're bulletproof. Try that. Yes. But young boys all think they're bulletproof. Good. One more time. But young boys all think they're bulletproof. But young boys all think they're bulletproof. Okay. Give me a give me a th sound there. Think. Bullet. Think. 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 Great, nice job. Yes. yes, so when we pronounce that TH, okay, we stick our tongue between our teeth. Think, okay? Think. Uh, good Think. job, Don. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's go to uh, Sarah. Okay. All right, Sarah, let's, uh, let's have you continue and uh, read the next two paragraphs and these, uh, these little lines here as well down below, okay? Okay, starting from Sarah Pachu. Okay, so after making sex out of their outer shirts, which gave them a peculiar scent that only snake has, they managed to get it, uh, a count of 94 snakes. Then they put them back into the cardboard box where they had originally kept them, put their shirts back on and sneaked up very, very quietly on the deck pen, lifting the box heavily weighted with uh, writhing garter snakes over their heads, they dumped the entire box over the top of the deck. The result should have been obvious. Instead of the chaos of terror that uh, they, they had ho hoped for, uh, the result should have been... No, sorry. The ducks went into the feeding frenzy. Ricky and Kate watched the gleeful disgust as the ducks slurped the snakes down like living spaghetti. There were only 12 ducks in the, uh, in the pen that surrounded a small yard, a small pond, and three side shelters. The whole thing was covered with chicken wire. Quacking and flapping their wings, they made sure that not a single snake escaped. Kate said, well, I guess I don't have to feed the ducks anytime soon. Yeah, they're so fat, they can't even waddle, said Ricky. Look at that one. He's almost laying sideways in the water. All right, the very good. Is... Yeah, just tell there, nice job. Very good reading. Okay, uh, let's take a look here at the word put. Okay, so instead of using a long U and saying put, okay, this is pu, put. I, yeah, let me have you try that. Put. Put their shirts back on. Oh, 
Sarah, are you there? Put the shirts back on. Okay, there you go. Great. Yes. Yeah, so put their shirts back on. Remember, in this in in yeah. this word, um, it, it's always going to be an u uh sound, a short u. Pu. Okay. Put their shirts back on. Great. Um, all right. Let's go to uh, mm -hmm. small yard. Okay. Here it sounded like you pronounced that y like a j sound, saying small jard. All right. So here we want to say small yard. Try that, please. Small yard. Good. One more time. Small yard. Small yard. Okay, great. Um, excellent job with uh, words like quacking. All right, that, that may have been a new word for you. Surrounded sounded really good. Okay, your R's and D's and uh, TH's sounded fabulous. Very good reading, Sarah. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go to Selma. Yes. All right, so let me have you read uh, the next uh, the next three paragraphs here. That night, Keith's mom made him go feed the ducks anyway. When he told her he didn't need to feed the ducks, and she found out why, Ke why Keith and Ricky Span decided that the duck pond needed a good cleaning. Keith and Ricky really, really didn't think that was fair after all. The ducks had liked the snakes and none of them had even been scared, let alone hurt. Seeing that bo uh, young boys, being what they are, often don't understand the chemistry of events that lead to unpleasant problems, coupling that with the universal desire in all males to make women happy, and the delusion that they know how sometimes life-shaping misunderstandings come about. This was the case with Kate and Ricky, and their fifth grade teacher. During that same spring that they had gathered all those snakes for all ducks, Ricky's parents moved to Portland, Oregon, leaving him and his young brother David, David to live with their grandpa and grandma. Until school was out, and it was during this time period that Ricky had the ultimate brainstorm. Okay, good. Very good reading. Okay, uh, now this word here is ultimate. Ul ultimate. Try that. Ultimate. Good. One more time. Ultimate. Ultimate. All right. Um, a very good job with misunderstandings and delusion. Okay. You pronounced those very well. Nice job. Um, let's take a look at this word here. The word is parents. Parents. Yeah. So instead of parents, it's pair. Parents. Parents. Okay. And one last word here. Okay. Uh, this word is hurt. Okay, so just like if you were to say her, okay, look at her over there, her, okay, but then you add a T at the end, so that U uh, doesn't really make a difference. We're still going to pronounce it like an E-R, okay, so the word is hurt. Try that. Hurt. Okay, one more time, hurt. Hurt. Good, okay, and uh, um, just a, a note, I know names are usually tricky in, uh, in English. Okay, but the uh, E I here make a long E sound. The name is Keith. Try that, please. Keith. Keith. Great. Excellent job. All right. Very good reading, Selma. Nice. Let's go to C. Okay. All right, C. Uh, let me have you read uh, these two lines the paragraph, this line here, and this one down here, please. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Spring has been bully all year. I think we should do something she likes, said Ricky. Kiss asked, what do you think we ought to do? Well, you know, she really likes our snakes, said Ricky. She always tells us, uh, tells us how beautiful their stripes are. And when we tell the class how, how fast they are and how they eat bugs and stuff, she always says how God made made them for a reason. Ricky had a truly 
thoughtful expression on his face. Mr. Spring really was bully. Ricky really did like her. She was always nice. She always took time and explained things to him. She was ki kinda old and pretty big, but Ricky thought she was pretty anyway. At least when she smiled, he didn't think Keith would make fun of him because he liked her. But then he didn't really want to take a chance of being made fun, fun of. But oh, well, I think we should catch some real, some real good snakes and give them to her. Keith got a funny look on his face for a moment and then said, do you think she'd really like that? She always acts like she likes it when we bring them to class. Even if she doesn't hold them, she doesn't get all girly and, and squealy. It's the best thing I can get her, Ricky said. I can do it by myself if you don't want to. It's okay. I just want to do something for her be for her before I have to move again. Okay, very good reading. Excellent pronunciations here. Um, I have uh, a few words I want to go over. Okay, first off, this word is even. Okay, so not uh, you had said Evan. Okay, the word is even. Try that, please. Even. Good. So, uh, even if she doesn't hold them, try that. Even, even that she doesn't hold them. Okay, even if she doesn't hold them. Even if she doesn't hold them. Good. Okay. Um, next word is good. Okay, so instead of pronouncing it with an oo sound and saying good, the word is mm -hmm. gu, good. 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 One more time. Good. Good. Excellent. So we're going to say some real, some real good snakes. Some real good snakes. Great. That was an excellent good. Nice uh sound. Okay. Now, with, uh, with got, your pronunciation is very, very close. Okay. You're almost there. Remember to use an ah uh sound. Okay. Ga. Got. Got. Excellent. One more time. Got. Got. Great. So, Keith, Keith got a funny look on his face. Keith got a funny look, in, a funny look in, on his face. Excellent. Okay. Nice job. Thank you very much. Very good reading. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, Sergun. How are you? Sergun, are you there? Three, two, one, action. All right, man, let's yeah. do it. So yeah, let's, uh, it's my turn. let's uh, since we've got about 20 minutes left, I'm going to, uh, we're going to do uh, shorter paragraphs and uh, see if we can uh, and roll through some more, okay? So uh, okay. let me have you do uh, this paragraph here. Go for it. Okay, so began this, began the safari. No snake was acceptable under 16 inch long which spread, spread long for a, a red racer. Yellow racers get, get about uh, two feet long, but they are all over the place. Their prize was a, was a ball snake. He was about 20 inch long and fat enough to swallow a chipmunk real easy. He was so ugly he was beautiful. They only caught 12 snakes, but they were all special. They were big and colored. And if Mrs. Spring could come across a terrarium, she, she has had the marvel of the whole, whole town. They didn't know that the ball snake would eat all the others. Okay, good. All right, so let's check out three words here. This word is terrarium. Terrarium. Try that. Ter ter terrarium. Okay, terrarium. Terrarium. Ter terrarium. Good. Okay. Um, okay. Let's uh, focus on a, a short E sound here. Spe. Special. Special. Good. Yeah. So instead of spatial, spe. Okay. okay. Special. Okay. Special. There you go. And uh, this word here is safari with the accent on the uh, that second A. Safari. Safari. Okay. Give me an R sound. Uh, uh, not a hard R, but an English R. Safar. Safari. 
Safari. Safari. Okay. Uh, you're hitting you're hitting the top of your your mouth with your tongue, saying Safari. Okay, it's very yeah. light. It's very light, but uh, but it's happening. Okay. So remember, keep your tongue down and curve it. Okay, to pronounce that R. Okay, Safar, Safari. Sa safari. No. Sa Almost. Sa <laughs> safari. Almost. Safari. There you go. Okay. One more time. Safar, Safari. 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 Okay. All right. So uh, pra practice saying that word and other words that end with an R. Okay, like an R and an E sound. Okay, so you can practice uh, controlling your tongue so it doesn't hit the top. Okay, because okay. it's that E that's at the end that's uh, that's driving your your tongue to the top of your mouth. Okay, nice okay. job. Thanks. All right, let's go to uh, Amparo. Yeah. Okay, let me have you read uh, the next uh, next two paragraphs here, please. Late that afternoon, they saw Mrs. Green's car in front of the school. It was Friday, the end of Easter vacation, and they would be back in school on Monday. So Ricky had an another idea. Why don't we wait by Mrs. Green's car and give her the present now? That way, that way, we won't have to give it to her in front of everybody in class on Monday. That sounds like a good idea to me, too. Then Keith added, I think I saw Mr. Spring in Mr. Hopkins' office. He'd probably like to see him, too. All right, very good. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a look here at this word, okay? Now, um, uh, this word is spelled the same as uh, two different meanings. So we have the, the meaning present, okay, which is the verb to present. Mm -hmm. And present, which is the noun. Okay, with the verb, yeah, with the verb, uh, it is a long e at the beginning. Okay, with the noun, it's a short e. Okay, and the accent is at the beginning. Okay, so uh, you had said present. present. You had said present. Okay, so mixing it up just a little bit. Um, the accent's correct, so at the beginning, but it needs a short e sound. Present. Okay. Present. Excellent. Now, if you are to present something, it is a long e pre, and then and the accents at the end present. Okay, okay. so that's the uh, that's the difference. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Nice job. Uh, let's go to Igor. Yeah. All right, Igor. Let me have you read. Um, let's see. Let me have you read all these small little lines here. Okay. Um. So Keith uh, and Ricky waited, uh, and they waited, and they waited some more. They probably waited uh, 15 minutes. How long could they possibly stay in there? Keith asked, uh, how long should we wait? I don't know, Ricky answered. It's hot out here, and these snakes are st starting to stink. That's because they're, they're in the sun, Keith said. We need to put them in the shade of, or they'll die. The only shade is the, car, is the car, said Ricky. Let's put them in there. We are giving them the snakes anyway. You, you do it. I don't want to open Mr. Spring's car unless he says no he says so said Keith all right very good very good this this story is starting to make me uh, laugh a little bit because this is exactly how boys think or at least this is how I thought when I was younger um, and I got in trouble all the time uh, very very good uh, let's practice this line right here um, that's cuz they're in the Sun that's cuz they're in the Sun Okay, oh, this is because, yes? Yep. Okay, that's cause then the sun. Yeah, very good. Yeah, so it's it's short for because and not yeah. cause. Okay, so yeah, yes, yeah. that's, there you go, cool. Nice job, very good, Igor. Okay. O okay. Only this mistake? That's it, yeah, everything else is good, man. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, uh, you, your pronunciations are, are uh, solid. Great job. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's go to Than. Uh, Than, let me have you uh, read 
Um, a little bit more than half of this next paragraph here, please. Dan, are you there? Three, two, one. Sarah, your turn. Okay. Ricky thought about this a moment. Then he took the box and put it around back of the car in a little patch of shade that was due to disappear in a few minutes. Then he walked to the front doors of the school. His intentions were to tell Mr. Spring that they had a present for Mrs. Spring. But the door to, uh, the door to Mr. Hopkins' office was closed, and they were in what looked like a serious conversation. Ricky was always told that it was impolite to interrupt adults when they were talking serious. So Ricky sneaked down the hall to Mrs. Spring's room to see if she looked like she was almost done with whatever she was doing. When he, uh, when he peeked, all he could see was that she was sitting at her desk writing with a pen. Ricky stood straight in sight um, and then left, going back to where Keith was. Okay, good. All right, remember, this word is Keith. Uh, Keith, yeah, sorry. Okay, and uh, let's practice conversation. Give me a good on. Con, conversation. conversation. There you go. Conversation. Mm -hmm. Excellent, okay. Uh, everything else was great. Very good okay, job. Thank you. Very thank good you. job. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, Selma. All right, Selma, let me have you read the next uh, three paragraphs here, please. Spring's room to see if she looked like she was almost done with whatever she was doing. When he picked all the they could see was that she was sitting at her desk writing with a pen. Ricky stood straight and sighed and then left, going back to where Keith was. Um, let's see. I think you may be in in the wrong place. So I'm looking at. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm I'm going to put it in the car and surprise her. Okay, yeah. So, right. yeah, yeah. So, um, I'm gonna. So the next three paragraphs down. So I'm gonna put it in the car and surprise her. And then Keith looked doubtful, and sure enough, those three three lines, no th paragraphs. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna put it uh, in the car and surprise her. She will know who it's from. Ricky explained. I looked in the classroom, and she's working at her desk. And Mr. Spring is still talking to Mr. Ho uh, Hopkins. They are going to be there for a long time. Keith looked doubtful, said, uh, but said, okay, uh, let's kind of look back as we go. Maybe they will come out anyhow. Uh, sure enough, as they go about a quarter of, of a mile away, Mr. Spring came out and opened the back door of the car where they had put the box. He lifted out the box and shook it. Okay, good. Uh, let's take a look here. Um, the word opened, okay? So we want to use an O sound and not ah, okay? Um, you had said opened. This would be O, opened. Open the back of the do back door of the car. Try that, please. Opened. Good. One more time. Opened. Opened. Great. Okay. Now, uh, when you said look, uh, let's kind of uh, let's kind of look. That sounded great. Uh, here with the ed at the end, you had said looked, using more of an oo sound. So let's use that uh sound and say l looked. Try that. Looked. Great. One more time. Looked. Looked. Excellent. Okay. Uh, very good reading. Thank you, Selma. Uh, let's go to uh, C. Okay. All right, C. Uh, let me have you read uh, this paragraph, uh, this next line, and a uh, couple sentences into 
uh, into this next one, about half of this next paragraph. Okay, go ahead, please. Into trouble. Uh, yes, until into trouble. Okay. Uh, Ricky and Keith had uh, turned up, uh, turned around and had started back when Mr. Spring threw the box down and slammed the car do door and yelled some something. Ricky and Keith both ran and 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 he and hide in the honey suckle bushes next to the road, hoping Mr. Mr. Spring didn't see them. Both were confused as to why Mr. Spring was mad. Boy, I hope Mr. Mrs. Spring can make him not mad, Ricky said. Keith said, I told you not to put it in the car without asking me, uh, asking him. Ricky just sigged. Monday morning, Ricky was met at the school entrance by Mr. Hopkins, the principal of Yak, Yakats, Yakats, Yakats Elementary School and escorted to his office. office. Keith was already there ahead of him. Neither Keith or Ricky nor any of their friends, Dean, Robbie, and Edward, were the type to get into trouble. Okay, good. Uh, let's practice uh, a few words here. Um, now, this word, the, the, G, uh, the G is actually silent. Okay, you had said sigd. Okay, this is sighed. With the long I sound, side. Okay, and uh, to sigh, okay, to sigh means this. <sighs> okay, okay, so that action of kind of breathing out long, okay, <sighs> that's a that's a sigh. Okay, okay. Um, all right. Uh, next word here is uh, both. All right, so I want to practice that th ending. Okay, so this word here, both. Try that, please. Both. Good, good. Nice job. One more time, both. Both. Great. Okay, and last word. Okay, uh, you had said hide. Okay, hide has an E at the end. When there is no E, that word is hid. Hid, okay. Good. One more time, hid. Hid. Excellent. Very good. Okay, let's go to uh, Surgun. Are you there? All right, uh, three, two, one. Let's go to action here at the beginning. Yeah. All okay. right, so we're here where it says, so, so when Ricky saw Keith, okay, uh, and let me have you uh, finish those up and read uh, a couple of lines into, into this uh, uh, next paragraph, okay? Okay. That's the one. Uh, when Ricky saw... Uh, how we how how we pronounce it? Kid. Uh, when we kid saw kid in the principal's office, kid kid didn't look look scared like he would done some something wrong, but he looked angry that he was being accused of something he would never do. Mr. Hopkins sat down and asked, Miss Mr. Uh, Wooldridge. Did you put a box of snakes in the back seat of Mrs. Spring's car? Rick answered honestly, "Yes, sir, I did." It took it took me and Kate uh, all day to catch him. They are beauties. They are beauties. Excuse me, but why would why would you do something like that to Mrs. Spring? Well, Rick looked at Kate, and uh, who was saying n nothing, puzzled. Rick sh shrugged and said, "She likes them." She always tells us how beautiful they are. All right, very good pronunciations so I, here. So I forgot uh, how to pronounce Kate. You, uh, you said before Keith. That. Keith. Keith. Okay, Keith. Uh huh. Yeah, with an, a long e sound. Keith. Okay. Keith. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, very good pronunciations. I, I want to take a look at beautiful. So instead of saying beautiful with a long uh, with an uh, a long e sound, we want to use a short i. Beauty. Beautiful. Beautiful. There you go. One more time. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Excellent. Okay. Um, okay. And yeah, that's it. Keith and beautiful. Very good job. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Let's go to Amparo. Uh, let me have you. Uh, let's see how beautiful they are. Let me have you finish off this paragraph here, please. Okay. We always get good grades when we make reports on this. I have to move away and I won't see her anymore. So I thought I'd like to give her something real needed. Those kind of real are hard to catch. Me and Keith waited a long time outside the school for Mrs. Spring to come out. I even snuck in to see if she'd be out soon. But she was working, and you, she was working, yeah. And you and Mr. Spring were talking, so I put the box in the back seat. I knew she'd know who put it there because me and Keith are the only ones who really like snakes. So we knew she'd talk to us today. She's been a bully teacher. I'm gonna miss her. Very good. So that, that word is bully. bully. Instead of bully, yeah. it's bully. Okay? Bully. Yeah. Good. Um, nice job. Uh, the whole time I haven't heard any uh, short I uh, uh, sounds that were that were yeah. off. Okay? Uh, yeah, your T-H yeah. and, and uh, your D sounds, yeah. things like that, are sounding really good. Very good pronunciations. Okay. Thank you. Good. Let's go to uh, Igor. Yeah. Uh, Igor, let me have you read uh, the next uh, three uh, three paragraphs, please. Mr. Hopkins sat at his desk looking real mean at Keith and Ricky. Then, after a moment of silence, he got up from his car, from his chair, and said, "Stay right there. I'll be back." When Mr. Hopkins left the room, Ricky asked Keith, "What are you?" What are you so mad at? Mr. Spring called my dad and now I am grounded. Mr. Spring saw you and me and was uh, mad we got his uh, wife snakes and then put them in the car so they could get loose in there. Okay, very good. Uh, let's practice a couple things here. Uh, first off, uh, mister, you are saying mister using a long e sound. Okay, mm -hmm. that is mi, mister with a short i. Try that, please. Mister. Good, good. One more time, mister. Mister Hopkins. There you go. Okay. Um, now let's practice uh, this phrase here, focusing on mad at. So, what are you so mad at? What are you so mad at? There you go. That's it. One more time. What are you so mad at? What are you so mad at? Good. Excellent job. Okay, and uh, also very good with the word loose. Sometimes that's a confusing word for people and they don't know if it's loose or lose, right? So, yes, very good. Okay, uh, everything else sounded good. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. nice ED endings. Okay, your Ds are sounding much better. Okay, very good job. Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's go to Tan. Tan, are you there? Okay, uh, Selma. Selma, let me have you read this next paragraph uh, and this line, please. Uh, okay, teacher. We did not. Ricky was in indigent. Those were good snakes. We should never turn them loose for a joke, especially not on Mrs. Spring. That box wasn't for him anyway. I don't know why Mrs. Spring likes him. That's really dumb. He could have heard the snakes throwing them down like he did. Ricky was quiet a moment and then said, I wonder why my dad didn't say nothing. That would be worth three walks with the bat if he th if he thought I did something mean to a grown up like that. Okay, good. All right, let's uh, let's practice this word here. The word is grown up. Okay, so it's a uh, it's uh, quick. So in, in uh, the accent at the very beginning, grown up. Grown up. 
There you go. Okay, and uh, let's practice this here. Uh, worth three wax. Worth three wax. Worth three wax. Wax. Uh, yes. Yeah, so the word is wa, wax. Worth three wax. Worth three wax. Okay, good. Um, and let's practice uh, the word throwing. So throwing them down like he did. Try that, please. Throwing them down like he did. Good. Much better. Okay. Very good. Thank you. All right. Let's go to a C. Okay. For our last paragraph, go ahead and read this line and this paragraph, please. This line and this line. Keith didn't say anything. After a few minutes, Mr. Hopkins came back into the office. It was obvious that he was having, having problems keeping a stern face, as he told us. Mrs. Spring says that she will not have either one of you, either one of you, back in her class again for the rest of the year. You will be my student, my student to keep you two, two out of trouble. Kit will have a desk set up here in my office. Mr. Wildridge, Wildridge, your desk will be set up in the music room. All right, very good pronunciations here. Yes, uh, um, names are always kind of tricky. Uh, this is Wildridge. Wildridge. There you go, yeah. <laughs> Um, very good. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, everything sounded really good. Um, let's uh, let's practice um, the uh, V sounds here. So it was obvious that he was having. Try those, please. It was obvious that he was having. Focusing on those V sounds. It was it was obvious that he was having. Hello? Yeah, I'm in chat. Mm. Sorry, I had muted myself. I usually keep myself muted uh, just in case uh, a truck comes by or something like that. Anyway, thank you, uh, thank you for coming, uh, coming to class. You guys did a, a great job. Um, my next class is a uh, is a vocabulary class, and everyone is invited. Uh, so hope to see you there. If not, I'll see, see you in a future classroom. Okay, thanks, guys.